Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Committee on uh, Civil Service and Government Organization, joined with the Committees on Health and Finance, uh, is hereby called to order. And I would like to acknowledge uh, Congresswoman uh, Lea Pakis of uh, Amnar's Party List for uh, being with us. Ma'am, good morning. Okay, um, we have several bills lined up for discussion this morning, covering two professional regulatory measures. May I ask uh, the committee secretary to, to read for the record the agenda for yes, this morning. Mr. Chairman, for this morning's public meeting, we will be covering two subject matters. The first one concerns the amendments to the civil engineering law, and I'm referring to Senate Bill Number 704 authored by Santor Escudero, and Senate Bill Number 1211, authored by the, by the Senate President, <coughs> Senator Franklin M. Rilon. The second one is on the Act Instituting Reforms to Further Protect and Develop the Nursing Profession, uh, which is covered by the following bills. Senate Bill 1840 by Senator Angara, SB 1237 by Senator Marcos Jr., SB 1009 by the Chairman, Antonio Tornales IV, and Senate Bill 622 by Senator Ralph Girardo, and also uh, providing for a comprehensive nursing law covered by two Senate bills, Senate Bill 2583 by Senator Gingon III, and Senate Bill 1264 by Senator uh, Nancy Binay. Thank you very much, uh, Community Secretary. Uh, the copies of the bills were furnished uh, to our resource persons, so I hope you came in prepared. Um, let us hear first from Commissioner uh, Chiaco, ma'am. Honorable Chair, Senator Antonio Trillanes, and distinguished members of the panel, good morning. After pursuing over, eight, over six Senate bills seeking to repeal and or amend the existing nursing regulatory law, the Professional Regulation Commission, PRC, finds substantially identical provisions among these bills and of which we interpose no substantial objections. We wish to report, though, to this committee. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, we're going to tackle first the civil engineering. Ah, civil engineering, yes. not nursing. It has been the PRC's commitment to undertake relevant consultations with other professional regulatory boards prior to arriving at a position on any pending measure in the Philippine Congress. In our recent meetings with the professional regulatory boards of civil engineering and architecture, we noted certain provisions in the draft bills that need further review and refinement such as the express designation of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, PICE, as the official national organization of all civil engineers in the Philippines, and the exercise of approving powers of the Secretary of Public Works and Communications over the official acts and issuance of the Board of Civil Engineering. There is also a need to harmonize the bill with other existing professional regulatory laws, particularly in defining the scope of work and terminologies. On the other hand, the Commission espouses the thrust of the, profession, the proponents of the bill to develop specialization tracks for the civil engineering profession. This, however, should be subject to the agreement of the concerned professional regulatory boards to clarify first terminologies in the bill to avoid any misconception or misinterpretation. Therefore, in response to your instructions, Honorable Senator Trillanes, the PRC will take the lead in harmonizing the different bills, not only for engineering, but also the other bills being proposed. So in fine, while the Commission intimates its concurrence to update all the, the, the current bills being presented, we wish to submit these bills to further study and consultation with other stakeholders. And to, to be part of the TWG if necessary, so that we could have the proper consultations. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, yes, ma'am. So, in short, while uh, you agree with the 
general essence of the bill, but uh, you're going to propose it, uh, propose some amendments. To harmonize but with other yes. bills. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Um, can I hear from the president of the PICE? Uh, good morning, Your Honor. Yes, Your Engineer uh, Asset um, people. Regarding the position of the Philippine Institute of Civil Engineers, uh, actually there are only two main um, amendments we are proposing. First is to make the membership in the op in the accredited professional organization for civil engineers for civil engineers because we only have by now we have only one accredited professional organization for civil engineers and the second is is to institu institutionalize the issuance of certificates of specialization by the accredited professional organization uh, by this for now it's the PICE so those are the only amendments we are injecting to this uh, proposed amendment. Actually, Mr. Uh, Your Honor, uh, regarding the observation that uh, we put in the proposed amendment uh, uh, explicitly um, naming the PICE as the accredited pro uh, professional organization. However, uh, we are also in the position that uh, it should be put in a more generic term and let the Professional Regulation Commission, whoever will be the accredited professional organization, will be the one that will be implementing all these guidelines. So okay. there are no only two for the specialization and for the so, compulsory membership, Your Honor. So in short, ASIC people, yes, sir. you support the the bill yes, with some Honor. amendments as well? Yes, Your Okay. Honor. Thank you. And uh, I presume, Engineer Feliciano, you have the same position as uh, ASIC? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, actually, uh, it is our position later on, after we shall have had uh, a conference that will tend to harmonize mm -hmm. uh, all this with the stakeholders, especially the, uh, the architecture uh, law, uh, the architects here, is that uh, unless we'll be able to move forward in unity, and there is such thing as... Uh, a uh, peaceful and loving and even caring uh, coexistence of the two profession. I do not see any reason why we can come up with uh, the best uh, uh, version of an amendment that would take care of the needs of our people. Thank you. We are in support of that. Okay. Um, we shall see, Engineer uh, Feliciano. We shall see. Uh, Engineer Bernardo, ma'am. Uh, thank you, uh, and good morning, Senator Tiranes and Representative uh, Lea. Um, I uh, fully support uh, the proposed bills uh, being set here with um, some modifications, as mentioned. Okay. Uh, the PIC president, engineer people, stressed that uh, actually the issue raised by Commissioner Cho Chiaco was already expunged from the later version of the bill, the Senate Bill 1211. Uh, and the uh, PIC is no longer mentioned as the um, accredited professional organization, but it will only be set forth in the IRR. Now, for the other provisions, uh, I believe um, uh, the main objective of these bills are to push the continuing professional development um, because um, uh, after the last January of 2015, there is uh, the Senate Bill 2581 entitled An Act Mandating and Strengthening the Continuing Professional Development Program for All Relegated Professions, Creating CPD Council and Appropriating Funds Therefore and for Other Related Purposes, with the Honorable Senator Antonio Sony Trillanes IV, Cynthia Villar, and Francis Scudero as authors thereof. Uh, was submitted for approval as January 22. So the, these bills that you are proposing, uh, 1211 and 704, with the proposed line amendments for the Civil Engineering Law, or RA 544, have actually the main objective of instituting measures to continually upgrade the level of competence of civil engineers in accordance with international standards of practice. Foremost among the measures is the continuing professional development, or the CPD. 
uh, Article 2, Section 4 of SB Number 2581 states that there shall be formulated and implemented CPD programs in each of the regulated professions in order to enhance and upgrade the competencies and qualifications of professionals for the practice of their professions pursuant to the Philippines Qualifications Framework, the ASEAN Qualifications Reference Framework, and the Mutual Recognition Arrangements. So, Your Honor, the CPD programs are to ensure international alignment of competencies and qualifications of professionals through career progression mechanisms leading to specialization for subspecialization. Thus, Your Honor, the proposed Senate Bills 1211 and 704 are necessary to attune the civil engineering law to the continuing professional development act of 2015. We therefore respectfully seek the approval of SB 1211 and 704. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, you sec uh, Momo of uh, DPWH. Mr. Chairman, Your Honors, actually I'm not here representing Department of Public Works and Highways, but as member of PIC, because I am the former president of PIC also. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, in my capacity as member, we fully support uh, specifically the, the Senate Bill of uh, Diversion of Senate President uh, Drillon on the amendments of Section 4, 13, and 19, uh, because this really is uh, the most urgent uh, amendments that uh, PIC is seeking right now. Thank you, Your Honors. Thank you, Yusek Momo. Uh, let us hear from the Chairman of uh, the Board of Architecture, Architect Cordero. Good morning, sir. Good, Good morning, morning, Senator Trillanes. For invite, uh, thank you for inviting us here. Uh, Congresswoman Pakis, thank you, post, Madam. Uh, on the proposed Senate Bill 1211, amended RA545, as amended. We are only clarifying and uh, uh, questioning the two items only for, for, our, for the board, the project management construction engineering to be, to be compared by the civil engineering. I hope this is not interprofessional. And the signing of relevant plans and documents. Project management and construction engineering are not monopolized by the civil engineer and not a new trade. It is also practiced by architects. If, if the sole authority to issue certificate of specialization only to civil engineer by the apose, this in effect will disenfranchise architects. I hope this is not interprofessional. Definition three, uh, section three of definition of terms, architecture is an art of science of profession of planning, designing, constructing building. Six, uh, number two, letter A, architect of record, means the architect registered and licensed under this act who is directly and professional professionally responsible for the total design of the project for the client and who shall assume civil liability for plans Specification and contract documents. Architect of record in the MRA of the ASEAN integration in the architecture section of the agreement in the ASEAN, we batted for the retention of the PH domestic regulation that in the practice of architecture, registered foreign architects should work in collaboration with the Filipino architect and not independent practice because of the civil liability under Article 1723 of the Civil Code. PHs or Philippine architects cannot delegate registered foreign architects to assume the liability to them. They will be gone the moment they finish the project and the uh, uh, Philippine government cannot uh, uh, or architects cannot uh, sue them under Republic, uh, under Article 723 of Civil Code. On the signing of relevant plans, as is stated in Section 4A. Um, Architect Caldero, uh, yes. I, while we appreciate uh, you going through the specifics, but um, you will have plenty of time 
to okay. do that. So in short, um, you are generally in supportive, uh, generally supportive of the bill, but with clarification on some clarifications on some. and probably proposed amendments as well. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, Architect Cordero. Uh, Architect uh, Ochoa Regala, ma'am. Good morning, Your Honor. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. On behalf of the United Architects of the Philippines, we would like to thank you for inviting us to comment on Senate Bill 704 and 1211 on civil engineering law. We note that the proposed amendments focus primarily on the establishment of the accredited professional organization for civil engineers. The bills make no mention of substantive changes to the scope and practice of civil engineers that affect the architects. However, the UAP recommends that the bills be harmonized with Republic Act 9266 or the Architecture Law, as well as the proposed amendments 32 under Senate Bill 2623. In particular, the delineation of civil engineering from architecture with respect to preparation, signing, and sealing of architectural plans. Uh, in their position paper on Senate Bill 2623, the civil engineers claim that at present, pursuant to RA 544, civil engineers may prepare, sign, and seal architectural and structural plans. However, RA 9266 explicitly provides that only registered licensed architects shall practice architecture and as such shall exclusively prepare, sign and seal architectural plans and documents. The UAP maintains that the architectural plans of building and structures are the domain of the architect based on law, academic training, professional competencies, and government licenses issued to enable one to practice. Irrespective of the numbers, Your Honor, we humbly submit that the practice should be limited to architects. This is also an opportune time, Your Honor, to establish accountabilities based on each other's professional discipline in view of public interest and safety. The scope of practice as well as possible exclusions should be included in the amendments to the CELO and harmonized with the amendments sought in relation to RA 9266. In particular, Your Honor, the word building needs to be clarified and defined carefully in order to avoid overlaps. We would be glad, sir, to participate in any technical working group in an effort to come up with harmonized definitions and delineation. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, so I presume you have the same position, Architect Ben Camino. Y yes, sir. Okay. So, um, Attorney Bautista, do you have uh, any? Sorry, the official position of the PRC has already been articulated by our Commissioner, Chua okay. Chaco. I was just uh, being sure. Baka may opinion. Okay. Um, for the bills on civil engineering, we will be inviting the resource persons again uh, to a technical working group meeting and I wish you would be able to reconcile your differences by then and soon because I intend to sponsor this uh, early next month. So if you won't be able to rec reconcile your differences by then, uh, we'll just have to wait it out again until uh, the next uh, regular session around August. So I, I will leave it up to you. Um, we'll just want to make sure that there are no overlapping uh, jurisdictions and functions. We want to promote the end uh, further strengthen and professionalize the civil engineering profession, uh, but not at the expense of the other professions. So, and that's the reason why we pushed for the CPD bill, because we were anticipating some problems with the other professional regulatory laws. So, while uh, they're trying to, we're trying to deliberate all of those bills, we wish to push forth uh, this 
continuing professional development bill. So um, with that, uh, expect another invitation. And I hope you would come in with an open mind because everybody stands to benefit from it. So for the, as far as the resource persons for the civil engineering bills, uh, you're hereby excused. Thank you and good morning. Let's now move over to the bills covering the nursing profession. Uh, let's start again with uh, Ma'am uh, Chua Chiaco, uh, Commissioner of the PRC. Honorable Chairman, let me again present the PRC position, this time for the nursing law. Okay, there has been six Senate bills seeking to repeal and or amend the existing nursing regulatory law. The PRC, the Professional Regulation Commission, finds substantially identical provisions among these bills. Therefore, we interpose no substantial objections. We wish, however, to report to this committee that counterpart nursing bills have been filed and deliberated upon in the lower house. The Commission, together with the Board of Art Nursing, actively participated in the public hearings wherein a harmonized version of the nursing bill authored by representatives Leia Espakis, Carlos M. Padilla, and Rufus B. Rodriguez had been approved at the committee level. We therefore recommend to the Senate Committee on Civil Service and Government Reorganization the adoption of this approved House version of the nursing bill with few proposed revisions for consideration. First, the institutionalization of the Continuing Professional Development, or the CPD, by making it a compulsory requirement for the renewal of the professional identification card of the nurses. And number two, the non-involvement or disassociation of the Board of Nursing in relation to the creation and operation of review centers. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, Dr. Tolentina of uh, the Department of Health. So we've already, uh, we've also uh, joined the committee hearings uh, back in the Congress, and we pose no objection to the proposed uh, bills on the Nursing Act. So we fully support the said version. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, Attorney Bautista, you have the same position? Okay. Let's now hear from Dr. Llanes of PNA, ma'am. Good morning, Your Honor, and thank you for your invitation. Uh, the PNA strongly supports the consolidated bill and moves that the Senate adopts in toto the consolidated bill in Congress. We in the PNA, governors, and the presidents of 24 various nursing specialty organizations and interest groups and national nursing leaders are taking a collective stand to support the consolidated bill. We believe that the bill covers the significant provisions that we as professional nurses have been appealing to both the Congress and the Senate all these years. Among the salient features of the consolidated bill that we have been relentless, relentlessly campaigning for is the full implementation of salary grade 15. We are fully aware that for so many years, almost 13 long years to be exact, the government has successfully delayed the implementation of salary grade 15. Although it is already a law passed by Congress, we remain to be subjugated by the alleged budgetary constraints. Apparently to date, it has not been included in the General Appropriations Act for reasons only those in the government knows. No less than our good Senator Honorable Coco Pimentel said in his speech before the nurses during the PNA convention said, the worst injustice is for government to exploit the people it employs. With the passage of this bill, the injustices done to our nurses who are in charge of taking care of the health of our people will then be put to an end. Likewise, the consolidated bill also provides for specific offenses and prohibits acts and penalties for said violations of nurses' rights 
Both PNA and all our nursing leaders have been crying out to the government. Through this bill, we believe we can now prosecute these offenders to the ends of the law, whether in government and or private sectors. To conclude our position, we urge both houses to support our nurses in the passing of this bill into a law and its full implementation. We assure you that in the nursing sector, that we in the nursing sector know how to pay a debt of gratitude. PNA has the strong support of over 800,000 plus nurses nationwide, and we commit our support to all members of, the, of both houses who will rally behind us in the welfare of our nurses. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Um, Mr. Tong An of uh, PNA, would you have the same position? Uh, yeah, before, yes. uh, it was articulated by our national president, but I just want, in behalf of the Philippine Nurses Association, together with our members, nagpapasalamat po kami that you really pushed this bill for us to be heard today, and thank you very much po. Uh, thank you, sir. We're just doing our job here. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Abakin, ma'am, chairperson of the Board of Nursing. Good morning, Chair and Senator Antonio Trillanes. The Professional Regulatory Board of Nursing hereby submits for the consideration of this honorable committee our proposal to adopt the version of the harmonized nursing bill as approved by the House of Representatives subject to styling. Article 2 on the matter of the composition of the Board of Nursing. Section 4, creation and composition of the Board. There shall be created a professional regulatory Board of Nursing composed of a chair, chairperson and six members. They shall be appointed by the President of the Republic of the Philippines from among those recommended by the PRC and ranked from a list of three nominees per vacancy of the accredited professional organization of nurses in the Philippines and who possess the qualifications prescribed therein. On Article 3, on examination and registration, it is respectfully suggested that the bill includes a provision barring examinees for fur from further taking the licensure examination after three unsuccessful attempts as a means to uh, ensure the quality of those who will be eventually be ad admitted to the nursing practice. Thus, Section 8, ratings, in order to pass the nurse licensure uh, examination. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, on that particular point, um, don't you think that uh, they ought to be given another chance still? Because even if you take the exam on your 10th try, but if you, if you pass, it can only mean that you still qualified, right? Or probably after the third try, you can ask them to take some refresher courses okay. so that uh, they'd have another chance to, to take that uh, exam instead of just totally wasting away the okay. courses. Uh, probably we can uh, find a way, ma'am. Okay, yes. please, please proceed. Okay, okay yes. Rate, as far as rating is concerned, in order to pass the nurse licensure examination, an examinee must obtain at least 75% of the tested areas of all competencies. An examinee who has failed the NLE three times shall be barred from taking another further licensure examination. So you, you will be placing there uh, an enhancement uh, training. Okay, can I continue? On Article 4, on practice of uh, nursing practice, we wish to emphasize the four scopes of nursing practice, namely nursing education, nursing service, nursing research, and nursing leadership and governance. These areas are clearly presented in the provisions of the harmonized nursing bill that we are proposing to adopt. Section 27, scope of nursing practice states the following are the scope of nursing practice, nursing education, nursing service, nursing research, and nursing leadership and governance. A nurse shall be deemed to be practicing nursing when he or she, for a fee, salary, or compensation, singly or collaboratively, perform 
the nursing care to individuals, families, population groups, and communities. On Article 4, 5 of nursing uh, education. Excuse me, ma'am. Just to abbreviate the proceedings, can, can you just uh, submit that uh, position paper, ma'am, okay, so that yes. uh, we can take note of all of them during the uh, technical working group uh, meeting? Huh? Okay, okay. So uh, but uh, generally, the, you support the, the bill? Uh, is that the way I understand yes. it? Yes. Okay. And we particularly would like uh, to give emphasis on the CPD provisions of the yes. bill. Okay. And also, uh, we support the salary grade 15 that is uh, enclosed in the okay. bill. Thank and, you. And uh, other yes. Yes. Uh, amendments. Okay. Riveted acts enclosed there. Thank okay, you. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So, um, Congresswoman Pakis, ma'am, uh, do you have any inputs this morning? Thank you. My gratitude to the Chair, Se Senator Chilianes, for this committee, for setting this hearing. My gratitude goes to Senator Binay and Senator Gingon also, and for all the senators in for counter, as a counter bill in the House of Representatives. And I'm so grateful to the nursing leaders and nursing organizations who are here today for this legislation process. Mr. Chair, I would like to move that we adopt the consolidated bill that was approved in Congress so that um, we can fa fast track everything in the bill uh, yes, ma'am. We uh, the suggestion of uh, Congresswoman Pakis is hereby noted. Uh, we'll just have to go through the the process, ma'am, of uh, consulting with the others. If they would agree the, to to adopt the House version, then uh, it's fine by me. But uh, we, we'll just make sure that all the other stakeholders would have the same position, ma'am. And, uh, but I didn't hear actually any opposition to the bill. Wala. Oh, none, okay. None? Oh. Ah, okay. Mr. Chair, excuse yes. me, Mr. Chair. Yes, it's because uh, in the TWG in Congress, they were also the ones who were consulted. So, kaya po ganun ang result. Uh, perfect. The, uh, po, no? uh, this was a commitment when I uh, uh, was also a guest speaker of the PNA. And uh, and it was unfortunate that I couldn't move right away because it was referred to a different committee. But uh, Senator T.J. Gingono was gracious enough to, to transfer it to my committee because uh, he has his hands full at the moment. But he also assures uh, the PNA and the nursing profession of his uh, full support. So again, uh, we will invite you to a technical working group meeting just for final refinements. And after that, we will uh, head out to the floor um, sometime in March. Uh, okay. Wag po muna, baka mausog tayo. <laughs> so, uh, Congresswoman Pakis, thank you very much for uh, being with us this morning uh, and to all our resource persons. Um, this committee hearing is hereby suspended. Thank you.